you guys, Aaron here, and today I want to talk about this red token stash and how how much of a complete scam it is. Now, this new stash, a thousand red tokens gets you one pull from the stash, thirty pulls in total. You can get twenty thousand coins, which is a lot, or ten thousand is even still a lot, and it just keeps going down to the lowest amount of six hundred. Now, immediately when I saw this, the first thing I did obviously was look at the odds. And this is how this is the first major red alert for this stash. Just so looking at these odds here, like this can't like Apple and I think Google also forces you to post the odds for these loot boxes and that kind of stuff. This is not posting the odds. This is being a complete scumbag move. Now maybe this is a workaround for them so they don't have to post the odds. I don't know. But I think if people enough people complain to Apple support and Google support and whoever. We could get this to change because if Scopely thinks they can get away with posting odds like this now, imagine what they're going to do in the future. Like, they could change it. Like, for instance, the Premier Recruit Wheel. So they could change it in here too if they really wanted to and say it's a 5% chance to get a 6-star, 25% chance to get a 5-star, and etc. and not be specific about it. Like, here they're, spe they're, spe they're specific about which tunes you're going to get. So they have the Featured Recruit odds. They have the Ascendable Featured Recruit odds collection odds, regular six star odds, ascendable odds. So it's more specific here. But in the future if they think they can get away with it, like they're doing with this red token stash, they could group everything together and we'll never really know the odds for sure. Cause it says seven hundred to twenty thousand coins is twenty percent, which by the way, that's a huge jump from seven hundred to to twenty thousand. Like what the hell is up with that? But the seven hundred coins to get that could be like eighteen percent to get that. And then 20,000 could be like 0.01% and then 10,000 could be 0.01% and then like it's 5,000, 2,500, etc. Could be higher, obviously. So we don't know how it's broken down within that 20%, obviously. So it's a scumbag move to post the odds like this. I recommend people complain to Apple support, Google support, whatever. Send them emails. Let, let them know what the hell's going on. Send screenshots of this because it's messed up. So the odds either way, obviously, the first thing, as soon as I saw that, I knew this is not worth spending money on. Now, each pull so far, now, I don't know how the offers work exactly, because they don't pop up every day. So there's one or two things I'm thinking with this. So the offer that I've gotten so far, and this is all Canadian pricing, by the way, it's $13.99 for one pull. Every time the offer's popped up, you can buy it twice. So that's two pulls. I guess a day, like, for me, the offer hasn't popped up again in, like, a day and a half now it's been, I think. So there's one or two things I'm thinking. Either I missed out on the original offer, so the offer's not coming up anymore, so I can't buy it, whatever. But if I did buy it, the next offer that comes up would be more than $13.99, and the prices would keep going up. Or is $13.99 for the offer. It renewed, like, every other day, I guess. I don't know how exactly how it renewed. But the stash isn't meant for you to complete. You're supposed to give your money to the stash. You get coins. But it's never meant to be completed. It's meant you do maybe like eight pulls or whatever. The stash is only up for like five days, I think. Or like less than a week or something like that. So maybe it's just not meant to be completed. And like no one's really going to get the 20k coins. No one's going to get the 10,000 coins. Everyone's going to get these low amounts of coins and that's it. Because thirteen ninety nine Canadian for me is seven hundred coins if you bought the coins straight up. So that's why it's six hundred to six hundred seventy five coins is eighty percent because you're not getting your exact worth with your thirteen ninety nine. Because buying coins straight up gets you seven hundred coins, so this is obviously less. So that's why I kind of think that the stash isn't meant to be completed. They just want you to spend thirteen ninety nine. You get six hundred to six hundred seventy five coins each time you you open it and you can only do like less than 10 pulls basically because that's I calculated this so in total the amount of coins you get if you did all 30 pulls is 56,000 so for me 8,250 coins is 139.99 so I would have to buy the offer seven times the 139.99 offer seven times to get to get um, the amount. I get 57,750 coins if I buy the offer seven times. So that's slightly more, that's 1,750 more than 56,000. 
but we'll say seven times you have to buy the offer to get the same amount of coins you would get if you did all 30 pulls in the stash. So let's assume $13.99 for the offer to do a pull for the red tokens. Let's say let's assume you get to buy it 13 times, or I mean 30 times. So $13.99 times 30 is only $420. Well, I say only, that's still a huge amount of money for a mobile game. $420, that's excluding tax, by the way. But if I want to buy the 56,000 coins straight up from the coins offer, it costs almost $1,000. Or after tax, it would be over $1,000. So it seems like, assuming the $1,399 would be the offer each time you bought the red tokens, it would be worth it to buy this, because that's less than half the price to get all these coins. But... As soon as I calculated this, I immediately knew something wasn't right about these offers. Either they're not going to pop up every day, so it's you're not meant to complete the stash, or the price is just going to keep increasing. Like, um, I think it was the S Class Sheila stash. I think it was there was a daily offer. I forgot how much it was, but it was pretty cheap. You get one pool each day. I think there was eight of those offers, and then to complete the stash and do the last twenty-two pulls for the stash. It was fifty four ninety nine per pull, and you had to buy it twenty times, so that's absurd pricing. So it could be a similar situation here. The problem is with this is there's no communication. You posted garbage odds. No communication on how the offers work, because like I said, I was getting the offers the first three days the stash was open, and now I haven't gotten any of the offers for the red tokens at all. So I don't know what's going on with this. No communication on the forums. No mention of it. Not even like a, hey, there's a new red stash out. Zero communication, of course, from Scopely. Posting, posting is garbage odds. It's just messed up. Do not spend your money on this. It's not worth it. Like, I praise Scopely when they deserve praise, but it's just messed up. But let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Do not buy this. Peace.